In this problem, I need to evaluate without using a calculator this expression. And looking at this, I, it looks like I'm going to need the unit circle. So here's my unit circle over here. So now I have to find the arc cosine, or remember that's the same as the inverse cosine of the sine of 2 pi over 3. So let's look at finding the sine of 2 pi over 3 to start with. This is something we can do on the unit circle. Remember, on the unit circle, the sine function is the y-coordinate of any point on the unit circle. So let's go find uh, 2 pi over 3. Here's my 2 pi over 3. So the sine of 2 pi over 3 is the y-coordinate, so it equals the square root of 3 over 2. So that means I need to find the arc cosine or the inverse cosine of square root of 3 over 2. And with any trig function, it's often easier to say set this equal to a variable. I'm going to pick theta. And then I want to rewrite this. So what does this mean? This means if I have the arc cosine of the square root of 3 over 2 equals theta, this means the cosine of theta equals the square root of 3 over 2. And remember on every trig function, inverse trig function, sorry, there are restrictions. And what are the restrictions on the inverse cosine? That says that your answer theta has to lie between 0 and pi. So I'm restricted to being between 0 and pi. So I can either be in quadrant 1 or I can be in quadrant 2. So when is the cosine of theta equal to the square root of 3 over 2? And I'm restricted to quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Since the cosine is positive, I have to be in quadrant 1 because in quadrant 2, all the cosines are negative. Notice all the x values are negative. So I have to go in quadrant 1. And when is the cosine equal to square root of 3 over 2? It's which angle has the x coordinate on the unit circle of the square root of 3 over 2? It looks like this angle here. So what is my answer? That means pi over 6. So I know that theta equals pi over 6. So what is the inverse cosine of the sine of 2 pi over 3, the answer is just pi over 6.